Yes, I like tofu and normally I buy it from supermarkets. I very like um, tofu, particularly when it's deep fried, eat with peanut sauce, yummy. Um, I normally buy it from, well, if it's deep fried, then buy it from fresh market. If it's as an ingredient, I buy it from the supermarket. Yes, I like it. Normally I buy it because I don't know how to make tofu. Yes, I like tofu. I buy it at supermarket many times a week. But it would be great if we can make it at home. Yes, I like tofu. Can we make it at home? I think it's not easy. Hi everyone, as you probably know that tofu is the most popular healthy food product derived from soybean. It had long been consumed uh, since ancient time. It is simply made with a simple ingredient and equipment that is available in your home kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tofu and how to control its quality. If you are a tofu lover, so I think this video will make your life easier. Let's go ahead and start making some fresh tofu. These are the ingredients for tofu making. Today I have water, I have soybean, and two coagulants, which is the most important ingredients ca that can transform a liquid soy milk to a firm tofu. First step, let's make some fresh soy milk. Starting with the quality of uh, soybean, so it should look very uniform without any spot or discoloration. They shouldn't have a much smell. Uh, the older one could go rancid and it might reduce the quality of your tofu. Then soak one cup of soybean with five cups of water. Let the soybean soak in the water until it fully hydrates. It takes about six hours at room temperature. When they are fully hydrated, they will be enlarged by uh, three times their original size, like this. After that, strain and rinse with some water. like this to remove some impurities. Next step, blend the soaked soybean with five cups of water. Start blending up for two minutes. Afterwards, put cheesecloth on the top and the strainer on the top of the big bowl. Then, gently pour the mixture onto this. and gather the cheese cloth together like this.
and start squeezing. But be careful you don't squeeze too hard, uh, or you will break the bag, and the pulp will get into the soy milk. Once you have a raw soy milk, transfer to a big pot to cook it. And please note that you shouldn't drink a raw soy milk just as you shouldn't eat raw soybean or other legumes raw because it consists of anti-nutritional factors such as trypsin inhibitor that can provide some adverse effect to the protein digestion or absorption in your physiological system. So what we want to do is to bring it to a boil with a medium flame for five minutes. I'm bringing it to a boil with a medium flame. I will let it boil for five minutes with keep stirring. Because in this soy milk, it has a very high protein content. It will actually settle on the bottom of the pot. It can burn. This process also denature some pathogens and denature the protein inside the soy milk. And yes, it removed some volatile beanie flavors. After boiling, let this milk cool down a little to 70 degrees Celsius. You can use an ice bath to speed it up. At this point, this is basically drinkable soy milk that you can add some sugar or any other flavor you like and you can drink it. Next step, uh, you can start making the actual tofu. I'm going to make a protein curd by adding these two coagulants, which are calcium sulfate and vinegar. You can also use another coagulant like lemon juice or magnesium sulfate. Just use what you have. I'm gonna separate this milk into two portions. Okay, for this portion, I'm gonna add a calcium sulfate, about two teaspoons. Before you adding into the soy milk, you have to dissolve it in some water. Approximately one tablespoon. Slowly add it. And gently stir. For this portion, I'm gonna add vinegar, about three tablespoons. Gently stir again. Let this sit for 20 minutes to allow the acid and salt to actually cut up the soy milk. The coagulation process is the most important step in the tofu making. It prepares it to coagulate protein in this soy milk. Commercially, different coagulants are used to produce a different type of tofu. It's obvious to see the different coagulation rate between these two recipes. Acid is likely to provide a faster coagulation rate. 
than salt. Of course, we will eventually see how it affects to the firmness of tofu. At this point, you guys can see the curd from this recipe. For this one, with salt, the curd are fully formed like this. So we can go ahead and pour it on the mold and press some weight on it to form a tofu chunk. The first step, you have to put the cheese cloth over the mold like this. And then slowly pour the curd onto this. Gather the sheet cloth together a little bit and then cover this up like this. And then you have to put the plate or anything that fit onto the top here to flatten it out and then put some weight onto it to press out the excess water for about 30 minutes Please note that the weight during pressing the tofu also affects to the firmness. The heavier thing you use, the firmer the texture you get. Okay, this has been pressing for a good 30 minutes and you guys can observe our tofu, how it looks like. You guys can see a firm tofu from this mold. And this one from Feinega. Here we have two pieces of tofu that are made from the different coagulants and you can cut it into whatever shape or size that you like. Here we can check which one is firmer. This one is with calcium sulfate at slow coagulation rate. It's like a medium firm tofu. The texture is a little bit soft, like this. And this one with the vinegar, a faster coagulation rate. It seems like we have a very firm tofu here. It's clear to see that the faster coagulation rate creates the firmer texture of tofu. 
that is all about tofu making. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize that the main processing parameters that affect to the firmness of tofu include the type of coagulant because it's directly to the coagulation rate. The second thing is the weight during pressing as well as the pressing time. The tofu making technique could effectively add the value of the soybean seed up to about three times. I hope you give it a try and do let me know how your tofu look like. In case you have any question or you need any help, just feel free to let me know via this email. I really hope you enjoy it. Bye for now. สวัสดีครับ